The Shroud tells us the brutally shocking and horrifying sacrifice Jesus went through. And also, most importantly, it tells us the profound depth of love Jesus had for others with unmistakable clarity. Jesus led by example with outward actions, not just empty words. Bearing that in mind, I'm just going to read a quick quote from this book. This is a book called Wrapped Up in the Shroud by Joseph Marino. This is his wife, Sue Benford. And she says, according to her testimony, he had a communication with Jesus. He told me that the shroud was like a fingerprint left behind for us to discover when we were ready. I didn't know anything about a shroud until he told me. When I first saw the image, I could barely breathe. The only words that, could, that would come to me, and I remember how unusual the words were to me at that time, was my savior. Still to this day, I cannot look at the shroud without having the exact same emotional response. Plus the shroud image looks exactly like the being I had been talking to for months. I know it's him. I know it's him. I know it's him. I'll tell you why I like that statement. Because her yes is yes, and her no is no. Jesus said, let your yes be yes and let your no be no. More than this comes from the evil one. She has what we would call what? Certainty. And she says, the shroud is like a fingerprint left behind for us to discover when we were ready. Jesus doesn't force himself upon people. When you're ready, take a look at this. When you're ready. And maybe right now is the time for the person watching this video. Maybe, maybe you're ready and maybe you're not. Jesus offers us a genuine rose that is everlasting. The world offers us a paper rose. The Shroud of Turn is the most powerful witness in the world who tells the most powerful truth. May that truth set you free forever, 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 forever. forever.